Hey, 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 everybody, this is Mr. Baroni, and this uh, geometry lesson is on similar polygons. Let's begin. This is exciting. Uh, two polygons are similar, and it's written with that little squiggly thing right there. If the corresponding angles are congruent and the corresponding sides are in proportion. Proportion means fractions equal fractions, and you can cross multiply. Let me show you, you guys. So an example, the left figure, ABCD, is similar to the right figure, EFGH. Okay, all the corresponding angles would be congruent, so uh, the first letter would equal the first letter, angle A would equal angle A, the second would equal the second, the third would equal the third, and so on, okay? And the corresponding sides are in proportion. Check it out. The first two letters, AB, over the first two letters, EF, okay, AB over EF equals the second two letters over the second two letters, BC over FG equals the, the third and fourth letter over the third and fourth letter, CD over GH equals the fourth over the fourth and first, so DA over the fourth and first. Notice I always did the red guy over the blue guy. The reds were always on top and the blues were always on bottom. Isn't that groovy? You bet. Okay, in the diagram, triangle RST is similar to triangle XYZ. Okay, that means uh, angle R would be equal to angle X, S would be Y, and T would be Z. List all pairs of corresponding angles. Okay, I just did that. So check that the ratios of the corresponding side lengths are equal. Okay, so check this out, you guys. So here we go. I'm going to go, uh, I just did that. So R is equal to X, S is equal to Y, and T is equal to Z. Congruent, okay? Now check it out, you guys. Um, uh, let's see, I did uh, the bottom over the bottom, okay, so that would be RS over XY, notice RS is first and second, XY is first and second, 20 over 12 equals reduces to 5 thirds, 4 goes into both of those numbers, okay, equals, um, equals the right side over the right side, okay, so 30 over 18 equals the left over the left, okay, 30 over 18 reduces to 5 thirds, and 25 over 15 reduced to 5 thirds. So this, all the sides are in proportion to each other and all the corresponding angles are equal. So those triangles are similar. Isn't that groovy? Okay, the scale factor of two similar polygons is the reduced ratio of the corresponding sides. All right? So determine if the polygons are similar and if so, find their scale factor. All right. Well, with all the angle markings, it sure shows me that the angles are, are congruent to each other, all the angles. So I want to see is lefty over lefty equal to toppy over toppy equal to righty over righty equal to bottomy over bottomy. I want to see if they're all equal to each other. And if they are, then they're in proportion with each other. And they all reduce to four fifths. In fact, the scale factor is four fifths right there. Okay, so, uh, so yes, they're similar, and the scale factor is four-fifths. Okay, and they're similar because all the sides have the same proportion. They all reduce to four-fifths, and the angles are congruent. Okay, in the diagram, the triangles are similar. Find the value of x. Okay, so here I have uh, DEF similar to MNP. Okay, the order matters, you guys. So this 9, I'm going to go... Uh, let's get the scale factor. We don't nine twelfths is the scale factor. This nine right here over this twelve right here, lefty on the left over lefty on the right, lefty over lefty. Okay, so nine twelfths is going to equal uh, this slanty right here over this slanty right here, the corresponding sides. All right, so go ahead and cross multiply, you guys, and I get x equals fifteen. All right. Okay, in the diagram, uh, ABCD is similar to QRST. The order matters, you guys. All right, so uh, let's see. It says, what's the scale factor? Okay, you can pick any corresponding sides, you guys. I forgot what I picked right here. Oh, I picked bottom over bottom. Bottom over bottom, 16 over 8 reduces to 2, two over 1. That's the scale factor, 2 over 1. Okay, don't say 2. It's 2 over 1. You're going to need that to solve other things, you guys. Find the value of x. Okay, so 2 over 1 equals uh, this x is, is the corresponding side with what? Which side over here? That 4 right there. So 2 over 1 would equal x over 4. You get x equals 8. All right? Okay, so theorem, the ratio of the perimeters of the similar polygons equals whatever the scale factor is. All right, so this is good stuff. This is high-powered stuff. Okay, so here we have two pentagons right here, similar to each other. And remember, order matters. Okay, find the scale factor. Well, that's, this 10 corresponds with this 15. So 10 over 15 would be the scale factor, which is 2 thirds. All right, so now uh, let's find the value of x. Okay, so 2 thirds is equal to x over 
over this side, 18, lefty over lefty. Okay, so go ahead and cross multiply. 3x equals uh, 2 times 18, which is 36. And 3 goes into 36 12 times, so x equals 12. Pretty groovy, huh? Find the perimeter. All right, remember, the perimeter up here, it says right here, the, the ratio of the perimeters is the same as the scale factor. And since the scale factor is 2 thirds, let's find the perimeter of this dude right here and set it equal to 2 thirds. All right, so the perimeter of that guy up there, when I add them all up, is 69. Okay, so that means um, uh, I'll let y be whatever the perimeter of this guy is right here. So the ratio of the perimeters, y on this case, over 69 is going to equal 2 thirds. Okay, that'll tell me uh, when I cross multiply that the perimeter of the left hand side is going to be 46. That's pretty cool. All right, so in the diagram, triangle TPR is similar to triangle XPZ. Find the length of the altitude PS. Okay, well it turns out also, you guys, that the, that the ratio of the altitudes is also equal to the scale factor. Bomb, man, this stuff is awesome. Okay, so the ratio of the altitudes equals the scale factor. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this side, which is 12. This side is 16, so the scale factor is 12 over 16, which is 3 fourths. So I'm going to set that 3 fourths equal to, and I'll just call this little length, I think I called it y right there. And then so 3 fourths equals y over 20. Okay, so the ratio of the scale factor equals the ratio of the altitudes. Go ahead and cross multiply, and you get uh, y equals 15. That is awesome stuff, you guys. Good job. Clap, clap, clap.